Hi, my name is Celia Buchanan. I'm the National Artist Educator for Marabou, North America, and today I'm going to talk to you about three of our products. I'm going to start with our art crayon. This is a water-soluble uh, crayon. It's uh, very highly pigmented. I'm just going to extend the crayon out here. It comes in a lipstick-style applicator, and as you can see, you get a lot of material in here. Uh, one of the things that also makes this uh, product unique is how buttery, smooth and soft the product actually is. The pigment loading is really high, uh, which is great for all sorts of different types of techniques. So I have a small canvas panel here uh, that I'm going to start off with. And I'm just going to show you how these colours blend and how soft and beautiful they actually are. So you can see this is almost uh, like a high quality oil pastel in the way that it uh, applies down onto the surface. Let's take some red. Blend that colour in there. We'll take some of the, uh, let's do some of the brown. And a little bit of the orange. These colours mix great. I'm just going to use a rubber glove here just to blend because it happens to be a good uh, blending tool. Your fingers, you can do this, it's not toxic. You can see how nice and soft and smooth these blend. There's really nothing like this. And of course, these are water soluble. After 24 hours, they cease to become water soluble and are completely permanent and extremely light fast. I'm just going to pop that aside and then I'm going to use some watercolour paper and show you the product on watercolour paper. So I'm just going to take some water and wet the paper down and show you wet into wet. As I said, that these are actually water soluble, even though they have almost like an oil pastel type te texture. So I'm going to put some of the yellow down, put some red into there, and literally you can see how this blends. Obviously, you can do the same thing using it with a brush and just blending the colour and working with it that way. You can also use it like plain air if you want to when you go out. You can take the colours, use it as if it was a watercolour pan and paint with it that way. So it's very, very versatile and it's great for mixed media uses. So I'm going to show a technique uh, here where I will actually just subtract some colour from this. This is a great demo technique if you're uh, looking for something quick that's eye-catching. So I'm just using one of our stencils uh, and place that on here. I'll grab a space so I can hold it down. I'm going to use just a, a baby wipe. I just squeezed some of the water out of the baby wipe so it wasn't quite so damp. Holding the stencil down in place and then I'm just wiping the colour off of the panel. And of course this is a gessoed panel so that's a sort of somewhat minimally absorbent surface so it's easy for the colour to wipe off. Um, the more absorbent the surface is, uh, the more colour will stay there and more the colour will stain. So I'll just do this, and the more time you take with it, uh, the better the result. I'll do this, I'll just take that, so that gives us a base of something to start with for a mixed media piece. And I'm going to go on to the next product, which is our art spray. Art spray is an acrylic, uh, it's in a 50 ml uh, container, there are 26 colours available in it and this will go on to any surface uh, that an acrylic will go on to. There's a small ball bearing in the uh, bottom of the container. These are all, by the way, German made products. They're all, uh, this is a German cosmetic grade pump. It's very, very high quality. And let me take uh, this, this is actually with the paper. I'm gonna move this out of the way and we'll do onto the watercolor paper first so you get an idea of how that looks. I'm just going to take my stencil, pop it down there. I want to give my colours a shake. It's always good to keep the lid on there so you don't spray everybody with colour. Because this is a cosmetic grade pump, you get a really nice pump action. 
You see how rich the colours are when they go down. The spray here, they blend beautifully. Take this and put that away. I don't know. A little bit of spray from out of here. Get some sputters. You can do various different things. 45 degree angle um, is the best way to hold the uh, spray when you're spraying and you want to try and get a sort of even spray or you can come far out as I'm going to do with the blue and mist this so I can get some nice granular effect. Put this to the side. I'll just take some water and I can use this almost watercolour. I can wet it back down. It will blend. It's great for water media techniques. This is really a fantastic product and goes onto so many different surfaces. Uh, this is isopropyl uh, alcohol, 91%. Uh, that works really well with this when it's still damp or wet. Spray it straight on top and you're going to get some great effects with that. These again are great demos, very simple. Combining with the art spray, the art crayon, the art spray can be used really easily. I'll just take my stencil, pop it on here, I'll take one of the colours in the middle. And if these block in any way because you've left them, you know, they obviously it's an acrylic, uh, just take them out and flush them with water. Um, the, the top comes off and you can spray it, which will unblock the, the actual nozzle. This is now I'm going to put some art spray on top of the art crayon. It's not even dry yet, so this again, great thing to do in the store. And you can see you start to build up something that could be quite interesting. And of course, this, this is water soluble, so I can come back in and work with it with a brush if I want. I can clean areas off. I can use a tool and draw into it. 24 hours before the art crane is completely set up. It really starts to set up after a couple of hours um, and won't be quite as water soluble after that. Um, and of course the art spray will dry within about 30 minutes to an hour, but you see you can get a great deal of variance in the different types of techniques that you would want to use with that. So that's the art crayon and the art spray together and they work well together. And again, of course you can use this across the top of the spray, so they work really well together.